everything you just said, and she's <laughs> looking to be a champion on the court right now. First serve on the panel of Lauren Stratman. And really, Michelle, these, these ladies have very similar game styles. They are ball, ball strikers, they hit huge shots from the back of the zero, court, zero. and plenty of power in both of their paddles. Point. Nice work up at the kitchen line from Brooke Buckner. Rolling that first ball deep to the corner and then finishing on the next. One, zero. Kitchen, well played by Stratman to hang in the point. A really nice scramble from Stratman from the back of the court. And early on, looks like Buckner is going to try to sneak in when she gets the opportunity. Lauren Stratman has not made it to the kitchen line yet. Let's see how heavy of a ball that Brooke Buckner hits when it's in her strike zone and she has her balance underneath her. Uh, just, just one of the, the best uh, ground strokes in the game. During her time at Michigan, graduated in 2015, was the all-time leader in singles, doubles, and combined wins. Not bad. Start out. Could explain the heavy ball striking <laughs> you speak of. Not, not bad. I agree. <laughs> away from Brooke Buckner. One, one. The red from right Buckner, cross court. Yeah, Stratman tried to sneak in, and, and really approach shots are gonna be huge for both ladies. They both have such good passing shots. If they decide to come in on the wrong ball, they're gonna pay, just like one, Stratman one. did right there. That is heavy. That is almost a clean winner from the back of the court while her opponent is back from Brooke Buckner. Great inside and forehand. 2 1. And speaking Point. of coming in on the right ball with a quality approach shot. It's exactly what we see from Brooke Buckner on that last point, and she is off to a great start. 3-1. Side out. Spots from Stratman. She's been earning medals on the PPA Tour since 2020, but has never made it to the One, final three. in singles. Has her father here with her to support. Constructed point from Buckner, and she really seems to be in control at the kitchen line when she forces Stratman to slice her backhand. So if Stratman can get that ball in her strike zone with the two-handed backhand, I like her chances better when Three, Brooks one. up at the net. Um, Brooke Buckner, she is so Not good at finding those call, corners. Yeah. She, she had a, a good, almost had a clean winner from the back of the court on a similar shot a couple points ago. And this time, fully clean winner, both Four players one. back. Not something you see too frequently in the singles game. That's a great Side play from Lauren Stratman. Love that decision. Looking to stay back early now, finding her way in and rolling that two-handed backhand to the open court. One more. Side out. Yeah, just so much depth right now. Where Brooks' shots are landing compared to Lauren Stratman's are much deeper in the court. 
forcing Lauren completely on her back foot that last shot. 4-1. Timeout receiver, 5-1. Shot for Brooke Buckner. A timeout called promptly on and off the court for Lauren Time Stratton. 5-1. You heard in that break, Adam Stone, after this point. Yeah, uh, point. basically what Julian was saying, and a fantastic player in his own right, not just special friends uh, with Lauren Stratton, is to go bigger early in the point Six, on one. the serve and the return because Brooke Buckner has been dictating play so far. A great swinging volley from Brooke Buckner in the full stretch up the line. And whether it's uh, a rip from the back of the court or an approach shot, the inside end forehand from Buckner's Seven forehand one. to Lauren Stratman's forehand has been huge. Point. And there's a, a look at Lauren Stratman going for more early in the point on that particular return. Didn't come up with it that time, but I think it's a very reasonable strategy how this match has played out so far. Point. Good pressure again from Brooke Buckner. Second overall meeting between these two. They met the Carvana Arizona Nine Grand one. Slam last year. Buckner winning in three. Controlled come on from Warren Stratman after that point. Nice dipping two-handed backhand, forcing Buckner into a tough volley. One nine. Buckner's forehand is just cooking. Mostly cross court and inside end, but she even has the inside out ball working as well as we see on that very last shot. Just heavy and, and really, uh, Clearly, having pace is nice, but it's really the depth right now that is the most effective thing for her. 9-1. Always a good strategy. <laughs> Clip one off the tape when you're when you're down 9-1. That, that can start some momentum. It's Colin Johnson about that. Yeah. One nine. Sorry, no. That's a pretty good look at the first volley from Lauren Stratman. Sails a foot long, but I, I like that decision to sneak in a bit more often. Nine one. Sorry, no. That was, that was some heat check stuff there from Brooke Buckner. <laughs> she was looking for another clean winner approach shot. Just missed, though. One nine. Side out. Yeah, some frustration creeping in from Lauren Stratman. I don't blame her. Hasn't played how she's wanted to, and her nine opponent one. is on fire. Been in that situation many times. Ball there right by Stratman. Back to back, inside out. As good as you can hit it from Lauren Stratman on two consecutive shots. And a fadeaway, too. One nine. Point. That one just hung up too long. Too juicy for Brooke Buckner on that two-handed backhand roll. She had everything she ever wanted. Two nine. Point. And a light for Stratman. 3-9. Yeah. <laughs> That's a deceptive volley from Lauren Stratman creeping back in. Yeah, she went huge on the serve and the approach. And this time she forced Brooke 
to take the second hand off the paddle and go with the Four slice. Nine. Out. Return from Brooke Buckner right at the baseline. I mean, that's, I mean, that's three inches inside the baseline with, with everything. Pace, spin, depth. 9-4. Nine, four. Side out. And a couple errors creeping in the last couple minutes for Brooke Buckner, which is completely fine. The, the benefit that she's been getting from hitting these heavy shots far outweighs uh, the unforced errors. It's changing out the ball there. Here we go, four nine. The Vulcan V Pro Flight. Point. Regardless of what happens in game one, this has been a, a nice adjustment from Lauren Stratman to carry Five, through nine. the rest of the match and still in this game as well. Side out. Buckner has been stuck on this nine. See if she can come off it. Nine five. Side out. Yeah, that was definitely falling at the beginning of game one. It is clearly the correct shot as she's stepping into the court looking to approach the net. Well, despite the early deficit for Lauren Stratman, when we chatted with her after that semifinal win, she said her dad called her to respond her this tournament. There's been some serious adversity for her on her way to the finals. after a couple quality volleys up at the kitchen from Brooke Buckner. 9-5. Point. Finally a game, game point. point now for Brooke Time Buckner. Receiver, Out of the sport with the new talent in, coming in, which is not the case, especially for Lauren Stratman. Game point for Brooke Buckner. Good pressure by Stratman, not phasing away from the moment. Yeah, basically, whoever forces their opponent to hit a one-handed slice backhand is winning a high clip, uh, winning points at a high clip in this match. Point. Six ten. Slice again, and that one is long. Another point for Stratman back within three. Well, right, right after I said that, they both hit a one-handed backhand slice in that point, and they were both very good. Probably Seven the two ten. best we've seen. Point. Stratman. Time out receiver, 8-10. Yeah, babysitter on Time the sideline. Watching her mom compete at the highest level. Lauren Stratman looking to close the two-point gap. Brooke Buckner with a big Side response out. of the timeout. Big shot and big come on from her. Game point for Brooke Buckner. 10-8. Point game. Brooke Buckner takes the first. 11 to 8 on the air of Warren Stratman, but when the world sleeps. Greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Divisions.
Championship Sunday. New ball, game two, time in, zero, zero. Side out. Steve, Lauren Stratman looking for a big response here in game two to zero, stay zero. alive in this one. Lean right out. down the line on the backhand side of Buckner. I mean, I, I love what Stratman did there. She got passed cleanly. Uh, that's just too good. You tip your cap zero, zero. and you refocus for the next point. That's all you can do. Side out. Didn't quite clear her body after a blistering approach shot from Brooke Buckner. Didn't quite get her zero, footwork zero. situated on that last ball. Oh, that right was a near perfect approach shot from Lauren Stratman. Brooke Buckner found the opening. Yeah, that's that's different than the defensive slice because yes. that approach shot with slice was knifing, it was low. So uh, that's a much different situation than when you're spread out wide and have to go to the zero, one zero. backhand slice. Stratman definitely guessed in the wrong way. Uh, but Brooke did not have to be so perfect with that as it clearly clips the tape and just goes over. She had a big chunk of court to hit into. And she's uh, throwing up the hand, apologizing to Stratman for her good fortune. 1-0. Side out. Zero one. So it Side looks out. like that's a point of emphasis coming out in game two is to approach the net with slice. Mixed results, but nice to see Stratman tinkering, trying to get her opponent out of rhythm. One zero. Lauren Stratman at the kitchen, closes it out on the backhand side. Great court coverage. Yeah, using some aggressive one-handed slices. Zero nice one. control of the kitchen line with a one-handed roll to finish. Side out. Good look at the short angle. Once again, Brooke just too heavy, too much depth. And we've seen the incredible shot making of Brooke Buckner, but she will throw in a couple errors too. One so zero. important for Stratman to dig for every ball and force Brooke to hit as many as possible. Point. Just a cannon right there. And, and the thing about that slice approach is if you use it sparingly, it can throw your opponent off. But if you go to it too frequently, a player uh, as good as Brooke Buckner is going to find her rhythm on that shot. Point. Brooke Buckner got the promotion in Major League Pickleball to the premier level. You were a part of that decision making for the Columbus zero. Sliders in your side Time as she in. tries to close the deficit after this point, Adam Snow. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Stratman, her dad, and Julian Arnold over there, and it was mostly just general stuff. Last comment that her dad made was respond, uh, not surprising, but really it's more just staying low, not coming out of her shots, you know, starting from the ground up and having good footwork, uh, you know, knowing that Brooke Buckner Four, is going to come at her with aggression. Points. Yeah. Nice. That's just corner. Pocket nastiness from Brooke Buckner. Uh, you can see just kind of her shoulder slumping. Lauren Stratman just wondering how Brooke can come up with that shot. I do not know. Point. It's just been an awesome job from Brooke. Anytime she has had one, two, maybe even three errors in a row, they do not Six go zero. further than that. She has found her footing and come up with big shots. 
hadn't let those errors clump together. Point. Time in. 7 0. Is four points away from securing her first gold medal, medal on PPA Tour. Wow, good crack by out. Buckner. Stratton and Queen about my freshness up. Brooke Buckner got bronze at the Masters in singles, but this would be her first gold. A little payback Zero, right on the line from Stratman. Buckner's been painting the lines. I heard a little sound bite on break of Lauren Stratman just kind of commenting on what, what am I supposed to do? She's hitting the sliver of the line in, in, on the sideline and the baseline. 7 0. Point. It's, just a, it's just a massive approach shot. Talked about coming in on the right ball would be paramount in this match, and Brooke Buckner is just on fire with her Eight zero. Side out. Zero eight. Side out. You can see Lauren Stratman trying to do a lot with that slice approach and it sails on her. Point. Yeah, the degree of difficulty on these passing shots that Lauren is being forced to come up with is just so high. 9-0. And yeah, Lauren Stratman's reaction says it all. What can you do? She just looks at her bench. She had a great guess on the initial shot. And Brooke Buckner just goes back cross court and once again catches the line. 10 0. Championship point for Brooke Buckner. And she'll point get it out. on a rocket of a serve. The gold medal is Brooke Buckner's for the first time in her career. You have to encapsulate this moment, Brooke. You've been around pickleball since 2020 now. What does this first gold mean to you? Yeah, it's all the hard work. Um, it's finally paying off uh, on the singles court. Um, it's just really exciting. It was great playing Lauren out here today. She battled, um, as she always does, and I'm just really proud to have uh, won my first gold. Well, not only did Brooke win gold, but she's also the mother to three beautiful babies, including one newborn who is courtside with us now, baby Margo. She's traveling on tour as a full-time pro with three kids and a newborn. You do it all. What do you think your husband, Adam, is saying back home with your two others? Oh, well, first, thanks, Adam. Um, <laughs> it takes a village. Um, no, he's, I think he's really proud, and they're all watching at home, so... Hello, and uh, I'm just grateful for the support that I have back home to allow me to do this, and for baby Margo being, like, honestly, an angel, so. <laughs> what do you want other uh, moms out there to know, since you're somebody that's a perfect role model for all women? You're a better mom when you do things for yourself as well, so keep, stay yourself. Love it. And now a word from our title sponsor of this great event, uh, Carrie Griffiths, the Chief Communications Officers for Veolia. Congratulations, Brooke. What a great match. So exciting. Uh, Violi has been helping cities, communities, and industries for 170 years with their most pressing environmental challenges, whether it's water waste or energy. And uh, we're delighted to be the official sustainability provider of the PPA Tour. And so on behalf of our 220,000 employees, congratulations on winning the Violi LA Open. Maybe we should put the newborn baby in the cup, shall we? We gotta find Margo out there, whoever's hanging on to the newborn. All right. What a moment. Congratulations to Brooke Buckner.